Hello there, and welcome to Spooky Night. <laughs> Hello everybody, Xanafar here, and today I'm doing a review of Frankenstein Conta the World. If you like this video, don't get to drop a like for this video, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let's get into it. Let's do a very basic plot. So they these scientists and eventually they find this boy and his boy gets revealed to be a Frankenstein monster and the Frankenstein monster is growing an alarming weight and eventually the Frankenstein monster escapes and the military starts hunting down the Frankenstein monster. Eventually the Frankenstein monster gets blamed for killing humans but you find out it's this other monster called Baragon that they kill humans and eventually Frankenstein and Baragon battle and Frankenstein kills Baragon and Frankenstein gets Caitlin under the ground and gets killed and that basically what happened. The characters. The characters in this movie is really good. Let's first talk about Nit Adams' character. Sadly, I forget Nit Adams' character's name, so I'm just gonna call him Nit Adams in this review. Nit Adams in this movie is very charming, very fun to watch, and very interesting. I like his relationship with Shireko. I think it's very cute and very just fun to watch, honestly. I like his relationship with the Frankenstein Mantra because he sees it as human. Almost like maybe he's one of his patients and where he wants to attest it and also study it as well in the name of science. And I think that's very interesting because you don't want to see the Frankenstein monster die at all. He basically tries to talk the military out by killing the Frankenstein monster. And I think that's very interesting. Let's talk about Shireko. Shireko is very interesting. She has a mother son type in relationship with Frankenstein's monster. And it's just very, very interesting. She cares so much about this creature and don't want nothing bad to happen to it. You can tell how stressed she is hearing about the military wanting to kill him. And it's just very, very interesting. I really enjoy her relationship with the Frankenstein monster, also with Nick Adams' character. Let's talk about Dr. Karazi. Probably one of my least favorite characters in this movie. Not because he's badly written, it's just mostly because of his actions. At first, he sees Frankenstein as human and don't want to put Frankenstein in the zoo. But later, he don't even care about Frankenstein dying. And he just wants to study Frankenstein, alive or dead, doesn't really matter. He just wants to study Frankenstein for the name of science. And he even just trades Ned Adams' character quite a lot in the movie. So he's probably one of the more unlikable characters of this movie. Everybody else in this movie, they are fine what they do in the movie, so the other characters are quite okay. Let's talk about Frankenstein's monster. He is a very fascinating character, you can tell he cares about Shireko a lot, you can just tell his intelligence is probably like a caveman because you see him build an outfit when he's giant size. Honestly, that is pretty interesting. I really, really like the Frankenstein monster in this movie, and he's just a very fascinating character. The effects. The effects are done by Surawaya and they are amazing looking. A lot of the miniature wood looks super good with so many shots. And also, the Frankenstein monster's makeup effects are done really well. You definitely feel bad for the creature and the actor does a very great job. Now let's talk about Nowanga, I mean Gabora, I mean Barugan, I mean Baragon. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Baragon. Baragon is honestly such an awesome design. It's super cute, but also very cool. And I just love how his horn glows, that reminds me a lot of Godzilla's spines. And Baragon is played by Haruna Tajima. And he does an amazing job playing this creature, very animalistic light. I like how Baragon fights, I like the fact he burrows. Like he blasts his heat way foots and then he starts dating the ground, like softening the ground foots before he starts dating with his heat way. And that is very interesting and adds a lot of ketchup to this monster. Baragon is one of my punctual favorites. The music. The music is amazing in this movie being done by Firbe Akube and just the music is so breathtaking and so beautiful to listen to. So many themes and soundtracks of this movie I just love so much. Criticisms. I really only have one criticism and that is the blue screening. The blue screening is quite dated and just not really good, but that's really it with my criticisms. What do I like about this movie? Well, I really like the ending fight scene. I think that fight scene is really fun to watch. I love the music, the effects, and also the characters. The characters are so likeable in this movie and just really fun to watch. What do I think of this movie? This movie, I love a lot. I think this movie is really fantastic, really good. It's directed by Ashiro Honda, and all his movies are really good. And this one is just another really good one of his. 
I really, really enjoy this movie with a lot of things. I think Nick Adams is the excellent main lead, and there's just so many things I love about this movie. And this movie is just really, really good and probably one of my favorite kaiju movies. What rating would I give this movie? Easily a 10 out of 10 for its great characters, great plot, great story, great effects, great music, great fight scenes. This movie is just really, really good, and I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. So that's pretty much it for this review. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Xanafar is out.